Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we've done a little bit of work on our first design here for the Battle Cruiser. As you see, we've replaced the uh, Minotaur turrets on the front with a uh, single dual action turret on either end, of course, and a single barrel turret as well. That's the uh, Mark I and the Mark II variant, I believe is what the modders named it. You can pretty much ignore the reactor and seat. Those are just there for testing since we've not fleshed out the command consoles. Uh, we've gone through and actually done what we should have done before dividing it into two different designs, which was to start mapping the doors to different groups. So now we actually have all our airtight hangar doors mapped internally and externally. So you can see they are closed right now. Those are the thruster shield doors that leave you with the uh, limited thrusters for adjustments and navigation when you're taking fire, basically. Alright, and of course we've got the hangar door closed as well. Now, all throughout the ship, we've basically just mapped the hangar doors. That's what we've gotten updated there. And we've uh, done a couple other changes here, uh, not too much. We'll go up to the seat here and show you the other changes we've done on this model. Alright, so first what we're going to see is we are going to take a look at our shield, thruster shield doors here. See how lovely that looks when they're opening up there. Uh, we did separate groups for each facing. And then, of course, we'll do a master group for all three sets. So when you're at uh, navigational speeds or a very light fight, you don't need to worry about taking thruster damage for whatever reason. Of course, you'll... Um, have all those open and what we'll map afterwards is we will map the thrusters to their own termination group so that you can uh, enable and disable those as well of course we'll put this all through a timer block system throughout the ship to uh, allow it to basically be one click operation ideally from any of the command seats but basically those will turn the turrets off or the uh, sorry the thrusters off and it'll seal it up and you'll be ready for uh, heavy combat there without losing your primary navigational turrets, or thrusters again, sorry. Rather than, of course, the four large ones on the aft of the ship. Now, the first thing you're going to notice that we've added here is these six auto cannons on either end. So we'll go ahead and switch to that. Now, we uh, did take out a large set of thrusters to make that happen. Uh, this gives you a heck of a lot more uh, punching power coming at your target, as well as the uh, new turret changes we've made to the top that we went over earlier. But that right there will basically give you a steady stream of fire that you can lay into other ships and stations while you're coming head on, and of course you'll still have your standard Gatling turrets for any countermeasures and whatnot, I think we're going to set those by default to engage asteroids and missiles so that they'll be more of a defensive measure initially. Of course, you can ch change those settings however you want, but basically those are going to be your defensive turrets, it's those Gatling turrets. They're going to, as they already cover the most of the hull, it will just really give you a lot more survivability for it. So your primary weapons are going to be what's up in the nose section. Those auto cannons and the uh, main turrets, and then if you come up here, there we go. And we go ahead and open up both of our seals here. You'll find what we've put inside the actual nose here is six of these rather large cannons here. And I actually completely forgot the name here for a moment, so let's pull up our G menu. Those are the 25, centi uh, 25 centimeter RAKs. And they have a very slow reload but they do some significant damage there. Now, you can still uh, actually maneuver in to the ship. Fly up there and take a look at it. They are uh, slightly armor-plated. Of course, direct hits to them will damage it. That's why they are behind two seals rather than an open area altogether. So, if you manage to shoot through here with your uh, Luke Skywalker-like skills, you'll still only hit those hangar doors until it's actually opened up to fire. And the reload is slow enough that you can honestly close those, at least the first set of hangar doors. Actually, you could close both of them because it should be the same speed. Uh, 
and then reopen them in, in between shots. But as you can see here, you'll still have plenty of room to walk through. And of course, we've got anything on the back side there. It's basically just an armor sheath. And this seals off the midsection and other sections there. We'll probably do something with the conveyors there to plate those up, give them a bit of extra armor on the inside for the off chance that a shot will somehow pass through the opening and pass the uh, gun deck to hit that particular spot. Because those conveyors are what is feeding the uh, auto cannons we have here on the side which are sloped in a tier system. But uh, that pretty much covers the uh, just what we've gone with here. Uh, we basically, we are going to go with uh, fleshing out both of these variants of the battle cruiser. This is, of course, the more main weapon system type design. It's going to be the uh, basically closer to the actual battle cruiser concept. While the other one, we're going to go with more of a all-purpose, heavy-hitting, and large uh, capacity carrier craft. Actually, I'll take a quick look here. I don't think I showed you in the last video that we have been flushing out the hangar storage here. Uh, we haven't done too much work with it, honestly. But basically, it's got a multiple-tiered lock system, and this is your end result here, this bay. So you'll store most of your uh, fighter strike craft in here in the next area, and then of course your landing area, you'll have additional craft as well. So ideally what you'll have here is you'll just fill this up to even your landing deck having a decent amount of craft on it. And you'll just uh, go through those. Since this ship is not designed to be self-sufficient, it is meant to be with a support fleet, you will have to have refinery ships and assembler ships to go with it to produce additional craft and of course we'll get into that in future designs and building a support fleet up around this battle cruiser. But that pretty much covers the uh, updates we've done here and uh, definitely want to thank those of you who submitted different uh, suggestions and thoughts on our divided road video. Uh, we are going to go ahead and follow the um, suggestions of developing them separately, obviously. So we'll have two variants of the same hull. And we will be eventually uploading those to the workshop once they get to a more complete state. Alright, and that's our video. I hope it was helpful in some way, inspirational in others. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good day.